myself and uh, they they copped a sort of bad time because they they uh, we really put it together that day, not early but later in the game. Adrian, you know, as, as you say, Salford boy and played particularly well. Ball again, it's 35 metres out, and this is great stuff from the Rhinos so far. They've got to make sure they keep good hands. It goes to Glanville. Mark Glanville seems to be everywhere on this pitch so far. He he hands off Hassan to give Godden it, and Cummins is coming inside. Franks is coming into a great run, and he's tackled well by Broadbent. But Francis Cummins, a player who's in fantastic form. Brad Godden is down. Seems to be, is it a shoulder, is it Harris now? Out to Hay on the other side of the field. Comes inside of Richie Blackmore. Richie Blackmore, the powerhouse. He's going to go over, is he? Yes, he does. Over in the right-hand corner. So Patrick goes to check that he was. And he signals that's a great start for the Rhinos. The slight concern about Brad Godner's physio, Seamus McCallion, takes a look at him. He was dazed. He gave the ball back inside to Cummins. Great running there from Francis Cummins, but a wonderful try there for Richie Blackmore. He had power and strength to took him over from five metres out. And this is a fantastic start for the Rhinos, just what they'll have wanted. And uh, with just 12 minutes on the clock, that's a great start. To the 10, so they get the full 10 to work with. He does that. And so now the Rhinos set a six on the Salford 10 <coughs> with a man over. No, no tries come easy in Super League, but you would think that a score here would be just what the Rhinos needed. And Smalley drives it forward into the middle of the field. They can work from here. Back from the middle of the field. Sheridan finds ha Harris, finds Hay. He's got Holroyd outside him. Good try there. Well worked move. Harris to Hay, out to Holroyd. And that's well worked in the choice awarded. That's great work there from the Rhinos. As we mentioned, a try should have been coming there. Great work there. Graham Horwood goes over in the right-hand corner. 35 metre line for the Rhinos. Now Matthew has Harris. Oh, that's a, a hospital pass there for Harris, but he gets it away to Blackmore. And he's got Godden, who's got centre layer outside him. If he can find centre layer now, he's just got to keep going. He's got Broadbent to beat. He finds inside to Adrian Morley. And that was a great try. Well worked for the Rhinos. Superb work there between Blackmore and St. Alaire and Adrian Morley backing up. Great work there from the second rower. Uh, Sam finds Hume, comes back across. He's heading towards his own teammates, but he's also heading towards a rhino tackler. And that tackler is Andy Hay. And now Hume again. And he's intercepted by Andy Hay. Well done, Andy Hay. Andy Hay's just got a line to go for. He's got it. He's watching chasing. Andy Hay underneath the post. Well done, Andy Hay. Intercept the ball there. And went over. And the PA announcer here awards the try before the referee does, but it was all hands on a try. Outside him, Godden's got Sintelair. Sintelair has to come back inside. He does well there. He was heading towards the touchline. And they're trying to pull him into touch there. Tackle seems to be made there, and they've pulled him over, and rightly so. Kirkpatrick has penalised there, and the touch I should have saw that. Maybe he did. And Seller drives it forward now. The tackle was clearly made there. There's about three attempts to get St. Alaire into touch. As Matthew finds Farrell. Farrell drives forward. Now Morley goes to the line. Adrian Morley dives over the line. A lovely ball there. Taking the inside of Sheridan and took off that line maybe two metres out and just landed in between the posts. A great try for Adrian Morley and he'll be absolutely delighted with that. It's his hometown.